Good evening to everyone. Uh, thanks for the invitation to be part of this wonderful event. I'm very lucky to be the coordinator of Miracle Project, which is funded by the European Union. And tonight I want to talk about grandma's osteoarthritis and biophotonics, which are highly related to the Miracle Project. Osteoarthritis is a degenerative disease which affects over 200 million people worldwide, uh, including both of my grandmas. I am sure that you know someone who suffers of uh, osteoarthritis. But what is osteoarthritis? It's a degenerative joint disease which can affect any of the joints in the human body. The most common joints affected by osteoarthritis are knees, hips, the small joints of the fingers, and the back lower neck. All the joints are connected by a tissue called cartilage. A health joint has intact cartilage, as illustrated in the picture on the left. But when you have osteoarthritis, then uh, you have these small damages that you start with very small cracks, but progresses to larger damages, creating a degenerated cartilage. The next question is how the osteoarthritis happen. So most common reason is aging being very common in people older than 65 years. Uh, it can also happen because of a sport injury, excess of sport, obesity, accident injury, or some physical trauma as a fall, for example. As consequence, the people with osteoarthritis uh, have severe joint pain, movement limitations, and it can reach a total disability. As a secondary disease, this patient can have depression, uh, heart disease, and diabetes. The diagnostic of osteoarthritis is first based on the patient's description of the symptoms, and later one can be confirmed by X-ray or magnetic resonance imaging. Unfortunately, there are no cure for osteoarthritis, and sometimes it's necessary a small surgery uh, called arthroscopy. The arthroscopy procedure is performed uh, you making three small holes in the joint, one for a video camera, uh, one for the cannula, and one for the arthro arthroscopic instrument. Uh, the arthroscopic instrument used by the doctors nowadays look like a metal hook. So during the surgery, the doctors will examine the cartilage by visual inspection uh, using the video camera. And then they will feel the cartilage with the hook and define uh, if it's soft or if it's hard. And based on only in these two parameters, the doctor will decide how to proceed. The Miracle Project has a very long and complicated name, as you see in this slide, but the concept is very simple. The project will uh, give the doctors a new tool capable to measure the biochemical composition of the cartilage, giving them a better parameter to make their decisions during the surgery. To achieve this goal, Miracle will use biophotonics. Biophotonics combine biology and photonics. In other words, it uses photons, uh, in, uh, lights, and electronics to investigate problems related to biology. To explain a uh, miracle project, I will remind you about a few concepts from school time. First, everything is made of atoms. So if we look deep and deep and deep inside of our knees, we will find very specific uh, molecules. Uh, the second concept is the molecular vibration. So, if you illuminate these molecules with the right light, we can give energy to the molecule, which will vibrate. This vibration happens in a very, very specific frequency, and it shows as a peak. By illuminating then the whole cartilage tissue, we can measure several peaks from different molecules that uh, is part of the cartilage. If you put all these peaks together, 
the combination of them is very specific for cartilage, is unique. Reason we call it the fingerprint of the cartilage. Mm, this set of peaks are called the spectra. And if you take a spectra from one point of the cartilage, it will not tell you much. But if we, using biophotonics, we can have a map of this spectra uh, for each point of the cartilage tissue. And selecting one of these peaks, we can have a whole map of how much of that molecule we have in each point of the tissue. How this can help to diagnose osteoarthritis? That's the next question. So here in our universe, we have collected cartilage tissue during surgery, preparing the tissue in very thin slices, measuring the laboratory, and finally analyzed data. And by doing these maps for two peaks of the cartilage, our researchers found out that the amount of these two molecules decrease when you have osteoarthritis on uh, the tissue. So you can see in this image that you have less orange-red color in osteoarthritis tissues than in health tissues. Based on these results, Miracle Project will collect hundreds of samples, measure and analyze them, and once we have this large amount of data, we are able to create a color code for the doctor saying, okay, red is bad cartilage, needs repair, green is good cartilage. So they can make a better decision. Uh, at the same time, Miracle Project will develop advanced components to create a device that can be used for the doctors during the surgery. So the biopsy is not needed anymore. And then they can make the decision uh, right away uh, in this only one surgery. Uh, to summarize, Miracle Project will develop several new technologies based on biophotonics. And with that, we'll provide a better tool for the doctors making decisions that promote the patient well-being. Uh, finally, I must mention that all this work is only possible uh, because of the 13 high qualified partners that we have in the Miracle project. And if you enjoyed this presentation, I invite you to check our website and follow what our amazing team is doing. Thank you.